Florida State Seminoles. This is a team that I have absolutely no feel for at all. Five and seven <laughs> last year, three and five in the conference. Missed a bowl game for the first time in forever. Um, they replaced offense coordinator Walt Bell. He actually took the UMass job. He did not want to really take the UMass job, I don't think. Uh, but that was just a bad fit to begin with. But they replaced him with Kendall Bryles, who has done incredible things at FAU, at, well, at Baylor, FAU, Houston. And he, he comes in and immediately changes your offense. Uh, only two offensive linemen back, but maybe that's a good thing because <laughs> they, were, say, they were bad. They were really bad last year. Who's uh, coming in? Quarterback James Blackman, running back Cam Akers, wide receiver uh, Tamori and Terry. They are going to put up stats like crazy. And they they didn't bring in a ton of top-end talent, but they've got guys that, that can be consistent, right? Uh, offensive line is kind of a crapshoot anyway. So the defense, number 80 total defense overall last year, returns eight of their top 10 tacklers. They, uh, they need the secondary to improve. They gave up 30 passing touchdowns last year. That was fifth worst in the FBS. Uh, based on averages, their turnover margin should have been like plus 2.2. It was instead of minus 11. So, and that's just based on averages. And they had the worst turnover look in the country last year. So on top of playing poorly, you also had really bad luck. I think some of that changes this year. Their over under is seven. Now to go over that seven is minus 130. That's the juice on it. To go under is plus 110. I'm not touching it because I've got them dead on at seven and five. I think Kendall Bryles puts up enough points to be able to handle Boise State. Like, I think they've got more talent than Boise State. So I think they, they win that game in Jacksonville. Uh, Louisiana Monroe, they'll beat. I think they lose at Virginia. They beat Louisville, NC State. They lose at Clemson. They win at Wake Forest, and they beat Syracuse. They lose to Miami. They lose at Boston College. They beat Alabama State, and then they lose at Florida. That puts them 7-5, and 4-4 five, four and four in the conference. What you got them? Got them six and six. I almost had them five and seven again. I just have no earthly idea. I know that Kendall Browse is going to change the offense. That defense wasn't great last year. Yeah. And I don't know that they're going to be great this year. It's, I brought up James Blackman, by the way, and I think that he wins the job, but remember, they're bringing in Alex say, Hornibrook, we, too. We, we don't know that. And then and then my other thought is, is the, in the game that, that I'm a little wonky on or iffy on is the Boise State game. I think Boise State... So you, Boise State you, is putting you everything into strong, game one. You strongly dislike... Boise State's head coach. And I yeah, I don't that. like Brian Harson, but yeah. that doesn't mean I but, like but he's not the reason I think they lose this game. Will they score? Sure. Yeah. But the problem is, is Boise State's gonna be able to score too. This yeah. defense is not gonna keep them from scoring. I just man, I don't know what to think of this team. I, last year was so much turmoil and so much just things I've never seen in college football. I've seen coaches hate each other and not get along on sidelines and and not like play as a cohesive unit, but the talent at the schools like that at Florida State usually usurps bad coaching. Yeah. We live in a day where I just don't think it does. Even these programs that are much smaller and much less athletic, there are too many good kids around the country. If you don't bring your A game, you can get got. You can get caught. Yeah. Now I think the fact that the Boise State game is the first game on the on the schedule. They've got They've got Months a, to prepare. A, a better chance to win because this will be the first time out. They've if it got, was week two and they had a high school team playing first game. But there's another thing. I think Man, even I don't still, know. Maybe they need that warm-up game to get ready because it, these guys. Now, that's possible. Now, this is all just opinion here. That's right. But no, we don't I think know. they We're win not. the game because they're going to come out really fired up looking to prove a point. That's right. right. Now, Boise State having to travel all the way across the country playing against a more talented team, the, et cetera. The, the one thing that's going to get Boise is playing in, in, in the humidity of Florida in early August, mid-August, late August. Yeah. That's that's what's that's what's going to play a bigger factor. They're yeah. out west. They're an altitude team from out west where it's dry, and and they're going to come to the, yeah, it's to a, the humid the, swamp of The humid of swamp in, on August 31st in Jacksonville. It's, it's going to be like walking through a wet blanket. So it, it's a little different. It's harder to breathe. It's all the different kinds of stuff. You can't prepare right? for it. You can't practice that. Got that right. Uh, so I've got them seven and five. You got them six I'm and six. I'm going six and six. 